Now let's talk about radio buttons. And what I mean by radio buttons is this, this type of functionality. You have these four buttons here, and you can only have one pressed at the same at one time. Now let's see how we can do this with the eye switch. Let's call this first button A. And I'll just space it out so it looks better. And then I'll create a B, a C, so we can see this in action. I'm not going to worry about if it's disabled, enabled, or the, the width. So I'll just clear that out. And when this is pressed, I want the other two buttons to be unpressed. So for now, I'm just going to clear these out. And I'm going to duplicate this twice. Cool trick in uh, Sublime Text, when you press Control D, it will select any text that is equal to what you've selected. And you have control over this by con pressing Control F. This menu will pop up and you have control over if it's case sensitive or not and some other controls you got here so if i press escape just to come out of that mode so the both of them are selected now i can edit them edit them so i'll just delete that press b this will be my b switch and i'll do the same here control d and this will be my c switch all of them are on zero which means they're all start unpressed I'm going to start with A pressed, so I'll put a 1 over there, saying that it's going to start pressed. And here I can use the I set commands, or uh, the, un the I press and I unpress command. Let's use the I press and I unpress. So I say I press, actually, when this is pressed, I will unpress. And I'm going to unpress both the B. I press Control, Control C, and Control V to paste this. So, and the C. So I'll, I'll unpress those two when this is pressed. Now, when I press my B, just go home here, paste this. When I press my B, I'm going to unpress my A, and unpress my C. And when I press my C, I'll unpress my A and unpress my B. So if I save this, I now get a radio button functionality.